All right, here we go. I'm gonna play some sound plays and then I'm gonna do the update about the George Floyd uh, shot and the job in the, the case when he when he got sent today. Let's get down and do it. Oh yeah. Turn up the lemon juice. My brother. I'm from New York. On May 25th, 2020, my brother was murdered. Everyone knows by Derek Chauvin. The facts of this case were proven beyond a reasonable doubt and three guilty verdicts were, have been rendered. This situation has really affected me and my family. Any family member that has went through this, we are part of a fraternity of families, and it's not it's not one of those, you know, fraternities that you enjoy. I just over this last year and, 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 and months, I got three, two more pieces. I actually, that's going to let roll. Talked to a few people, and um, I wanted to know from the man himself why. What were you thinking? What was going through your head when you had your knee on my brother's neck? Why? Why? When you? When you? Knew that he posed no threat anymore. He, had, he was handcuffed. Why you didn't at least get up? Why you stayed there? <laughs> A month before my brother was murdered. I was on the phone with him and we had a long conversation. And as I looked at I looked at the video of my niece, the last conversation me and my brother had was he wanted to have play dates. He wanted to plan play dates with Gianna and my daughter. And we we, we started setting it up. That can't happen. And I have to, my daughter's still young, but I still have to explain her because this is history. This, this, this is a case everybody knows about. So she's gonna find out and I'm gonna have to explain that to her. And I, I think that's, to me, harder than even just standing here, that I have to talk to my daughter and tell her, you know, about her niece, about her uncle, about the situation. That's basically reliving it all over again, years down the line. I'm here on behalf of my family, on me, on, sorry. On behalf of me and my family, we seek the maximum penalty. We, we don't want to see no more slaps on the wrists. We, we've been through that already. In, this, in my community, in my culture, we've been through that already. Smacked on the wrist. No, 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 no. Because if it was us, if it was, the roles was reversed, there wouldn't be no case. It would have been open and shut. We'd have been under the jail for murdering somebody. So we asked for that same penalty for Derek Chauvin. Thank you. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.
As your business changes, the United States Postal Service is changing with it. With e-commerce that runs at the speed of now, next day and two-day shipping nationwide, and returns right from the doorstep. It's a whole new world out there. Let's not keep it waiting. One year ago, May 25th, my brother George was murdered by Derek Chauvin and his co-defendants in broad daylight with a knee to his neck for 9 minutes and 29 seconds. I was a trucker and immediately my life changed forever. I began to speak to the world for George from the United Nations, Africa, Canada, Japan, and so many other countries. Every day I have begged for justice to be served, reliving the execution of George while others begged and pleaded for Officer Chauvin to simply just allow George to take a breath. I haven't had a real nice sleep because of the nightmares I constantly have hearing my brother beg and plead for his life over and over again. Even saying, they going to kill me. Please, officer. Screaming for our mom. I, I have had to sit through each day of Officer Derek Chauvin's trial and watch the video of George dying for hours over and over again. For an entire year, I had to relive George being tortured to death every hour of the day, only taking naps and not knowing what a good night's sleep is anymore. I've been lifting my voice tirelessly every day so that George's death will not be in vain. Honorable Judge Peter Cahill, I thank you for allowing me to share this today. George's life mattered. So my family and I, most of all, my niece, Gianna. Phil O'Neill's employee, George Floyd, George Floyd's brother. The next piece my coming up is Thomas' mother, she Derek Chavez. So my son is a good man. I'm asking yeah, that you right. please find it suitable to Turn. give officers show the maximum sentence I'll possible that charge that he has been found guilty roll. for. My family and I have been given a life sentence. We will never be able to get George back. Daddy's our daughter's first love. He will never be able to walk Gianna down the aisle at her wedding, attend those magical moments of her life like a daddy-daughter dance, sweet 16 party, seeing her out for prom graduations, and she will never be able to have any personal memories with her father. With a smirk on his face and tears in prison, Officer Chauvin used excessive force and acted against his training. Chauvin had no regards for human life, George's life. I stand before you today asking Chauvin you no to please help us find closure by getting Chauvin boy. the maximum Three years possible. before George Floyd, before he Making did sure George he Floyd. Making sure he does his time consecutively without Tennis the possibilities of parole, on the neck of a team, probation, of a boy. or getting out early for good behavior. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest in... All right, let's get to the last As your part. business changes, the United States Postal Service is changing. Damn. Damn commercial pop-up ads. Yeah, I was saying, you know, as this role, I would say, it's like, oh, yeah, if you're... I you am the mother of yeah. Derek Scholin. I am here to yeah, you, speak you're, you're on behalf of... Yeah, you're still a good man that I'm going to get since 20 years. We'll do something about that as well. We'll get to that as well. On November 25th, 2020, not only did Derek's life change forever, but so did mine and my family's. Derek devoted 19 years of his life to the Minneapolis Police Department. It has been difficult for no, me he to just hear been 19 years terrorizing and read what the media, public, with the shit with the shit and the badge and the gun. Team believe Derek to be an aggressive, 
heartless and uncaring person. I can tell you that is far from the truth. My son's identity has also been reduced to that as of that as a racist. Well, gee, I think your son did that to himself by doing that. It's court to know that none of these things are true and that my son is a good man. Derek always dedicated his life and time to the police department. Even on his days off, he would call in to see if they needed help. Derek is a quiet, thoughtful, honorable, and self selfless man. He has a big heart and he always has put others before his own. The public will never know the loving and caring man he is, but his family does. Even though I have not spoken publicly, I have always supported him 100% and always will. Derek has played over and over in his head the events of that day. I've seen the toll it has taken on him. I believe a lengthy sentence will not serve Derek well. Gee, look at the toll that, that your son you has done to the, to the son, country. He will also be sentencing me. I will not be able to see Derek. I remember the day the first came phone, down. Dude, even every show had a was coming down to even his was doing it. Plus the fact that when he is released, funny is you know I see eighty three thumbs up, twenty seven thumbs down. Most down. Yeah. likely will not be. I can see why here. the why is that why the algorithm is showing more thumbs down and thumbs up. Yeah, because the mother's sitting there saying, "Oh my son's a good man. He's so oh he's a sweet angel." Yeah, right. When monkeys fall, my but. My happiest moment is when I gave birth to you. And my second is when I was honored to pin your police badge on you. I remember you whispering to me, don't stick me with it. Derek, I want you to know I have always believed in your innocence and I will never waver from that. I have read numerous letters from people around the world that also believe in your innocence. <laughs> That's funny. I've hardly heard anybody talk about him being no you know, innocent you go, and, or you, say, oh, it was uh, justified what he did. I will always be there to visit you. Except the Discord flunk controls. I will yeah. stay strong. As we Those that they're saying about, fucking their job and innocent. I want you to do the oh, same for me. Oh, it was justified. Me. Because they're stupid. They're all about fucking. Uh, I will do what you told me to do. They're all against the honors and the First Amendment people. Take care of people. myself. The, the Discord funky trolls are all about so, the cops. You know, I will be here saying for blue you lives matter. Home. Back to blue. I see. Remember, it. there is no stronger bond or love than a mother's love. One final thought I want you to remember. Remember, you are my favorite son. Thank you for your time. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Anyway, it's enough of that shenanigan. I'm out of here. My job, peace out.